Today's episode, we're going to go over a phenomenal exercise for the shoulder, re-educating the humerus bone to be flexible and strong at the same time. Um, really simple. You're going to sit yourself up on your knees with your feet anchored using a wall or something um, stable that doesn't that you're not going to move. Um, once you're in that position, you're going to set yourself up on the ball in a 45 degree angle where your head is higher than your hips. But if you draw a, a straight line from your knees to your ear, once you're in that position, you're going to feel a bit of waistline midline stabilization. Then your hands will be outside the ball, which is your starting position. Head is nice and neutral. And then you're going to swing your arms through extension, squeezing your blades together. Don't shrug. You're going to hold that three to five seconds. And you're going to let gravity return you back to normal. So once again, the first angle is you're swinging your fists towards or your wrist towards your pocket, past your body as far as you can without shrugging, back to starting position. Second angle is a, is a nine and three. Your fists or your wrists are level with your ear. You're gonna to try to hold it three to five seconds. Don't shrug, keep your blades together, back down. Third angle is your fists are trying to get higher than your head. Elbows are straight, don't shrug, squeeze your blades together, back down. So extension of the humerus, scapular stability, retraction, midline stabilization, back down to starting position. Second angle is horizontal abduction, scapular stability, retraction, midline stabilization, a lot going on. Last angle is flexion, don't shrug, scaps together, back down. So you're going to go to 15 repetitions, alternating, re-educating the humerus bone, to work with the scapula, to work with the clavicle. So as you raise these arms through these X, as you raise the arms through those three angles, you're gonna feel some tricep work. You're gonna feel your pec stretching. But the most important part is you wanna make sure your blades are coming together as you try to raise those arms through those three angles. So once again, starting position. One, two, three. Back down. 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 One, two, three. Two, three, back down. So as you get tired and you're performing this, make sure your low back is neutral. You're not creating more lower doses or try to change your waistline positioning because your arms are either tight or weak. In my book, weakness is tightness. So you don't want to sacrifice midline stabilization or your spine positioning because you have either weight weakness or tightness through one of those three angles. You want to start off with no weight, try to hold those angles three to five seconds, make sure you feel the muscles contract, then you're going to progress to somewhere between one and five pounds. The idea is not more weight is better, it's the ability to put yourself in that position and strengthen those movements and the muscles will begin strong. Very simple, very effective, highly recommend everybody to, to, to either add this to your uh, routine or start it immediately um, use it as a warm-up or use it as a circuit somewhere but very effective it's going to change the way you feel and move highly recommend